Welcome back to Cost Electronics. We have our next candidate. This is a 2005 Hyundai Tucson. Customer complaint is a crank now start. Um, I was already here before because I was not expecting to make a video about this. The car had a crank sensor circuit malfunction code. Then I found the crank sensor in this shape. <laughs> Look at this. I have removed the sensor from the bottom of the engine. Here. It's very hard to remove it. I scratched my hand and arms and it was a painful job. But the new sensor is in and I still have a wiring problem code for this sensor. Check this. Sorry for the glare. P P three hundred thirty five. This message also with the new sensor. And if I go to live data, engine speed, let's customize this display. Here, the engine speed. I crank now the engine. Zero. Nothing. I go now check the signal on the sensor directly. I have already printed out the wiring diagram for this car. This here is the crank position sensor. It's connected to 12 volts from this fuse and to the ECU pin 21 is solid ground and pin 8 is 0 to 5 volt. This is a Hall effect sensor type, not the inductive sensor, like mostly. I hook up my picoscope now to the sensor and see how the signals look like. What I forgot to say, this car has also a camshaft sensor and I was asking a Hyundai dealer if the, this car should run only with the camshaft sensor and they wasn't able to tell me because usually the backup strategy for, for the, from the ECU is that the car still runs only with the camshaft but in this case I'm not sure. What also is confusing this light here. On other cars this anti-deft light goes out after a few seconds after turning the key and this stays. But this is normal I found. First I was thinking we have an immobilizer problem here, but this is not the case. Because this I have already disassembled the reading coil from the ignition switch but this is a different story now I know this is uh, here is no fault I have hooked up now my picoscope to the crankshaft sensor on channel 1 I have the permanent 12 volt feed and on channel 2 I have the whole effect output signal from this sensor I use a one second per division screen that I can see how the signals look like at the best. Now start the Pico. Blue is a bit noisy 12 volts. Now the red wire stays at zero. I do crank over now the engine. Uh -huh. 
nothing on the red line. <laughs> but it's at 5 volt now. No signal and 5 volts. That means the sensor is not installed correctly by me or this new sensor is bad. I remove the sensor again and check it with the external magnet how it reacts if it switched or not. Oh man, again removing this sensor, I hate this. Ignition is switched off now. No change. Okay. ECU is now sleeping. All back to zero. Remove the sensor. I use my portable scope here for this measurement. It's only a basic measurement. And this is the sensor removed. Now, when I'm touching a metal frame, or a metal part, it switches. I blow. I guess this was my fault. The sensor was only maybe not fully in, because this little o-ring here. Next try, I have reinstalled the sensor again. Let's see what happens. Oops. Crank over. <laughs> oh my gosh! Thanks God! Horror! This sensor is so a pain to remove. This was my, mis my mistake. But I'm happy that it works now. Really, you can believe me. Check out my hands. Ah. Okay, it was only the sensor and a stupid mistake from me. Bye bye. Few minutes later, the engine stalled out. And check the signal on the Pico. Zoom in a bit. Look how uneven this crank sensor signal is. The red trace is the cam uh, crank sensor signal, I mean. It's a whole effect again. But this is not normal. Check the missing humps. This engine can't run this way. Before it was running, but only rev up to 3000 rpm and then begins to stuttering and very shaky and after a few minutes it's stalled out and don't start again I think um, this sensor what, what I have installed here is uh, bad quality I bought it from the local dealer shop it's not original but he said it's a quality material, but uh, I check my installation again and I don't think I have uh, did something wrong. I cannot more than insert. Maybe it's the best way, as you can see, by only OEM parts. This here is very disappointing because I have to remove again and crawl on, under the car and it's not a not a happy job to do but I have no choice now I go and go to the sensor again the new sensor is out again and it's a bit oily but it doesn't have junk gunk or anything on it Maybe the flywheel is dirty. This can also be a possibility. But first I'm gonna install a new OEM sensor now. This here is the original sensor from the Hyundai dealer. 
I'm gonna install this now and I really hope I really really hope finished again stretch my arms and hands new sensors in let's try again start the pico Uh -huh, it starts. Oh, it didn't start the pico, right? Yes. <laughs> it, now it looks even. Where is my cursor? Zoom in a little bit. Maybe I can set the trigger. Trigger is set. Now we have an even smooth signal. That is much better than before. Rev up the engine. This looks much better now. And the engine revs up. Before, at 3000 3, RPM was finished, now it, everything looks fine with the OEM sensor. <laughs> Lesson learned, buy only OEM parts. <laughs>